Good evening everybody, this is Nelka again and this is a series of free tutorials about golf course lighting design. Tonight we will discuss on how to light the teeing green or the teeing area. The teeing area is where the golf co the golfers they have one yeah is where the, the golfers hit the ball from the tee. So this is the tee. So that is called the teeing ground. And then I have here one example. This is one of my project, the golf course. And you can see here I have one, two, three, four, fourteen ground. And then this is the fairway. And this is the putting green. The putting green is where the flag is located. So tonight I will tell you on how to light the teen ground or the teen green. As per the standard, the teen green must be uh, in class one it should be 200 lux with a 0.7 uniformity, and on class two it should be 100 lux with 0.7 again uniformity. So we need to achieve this um, 200 or 100 lux. If it's class 2, 200, uh, 100, and if, if it's class 1, then it's 200. But there's a catch. There's a rules that you need to have a cross or bi-directional lighting so you will not create shadows on the ball, like this one. So it should be bi-directional. It means two-way lighting, both sides. So it will not create shadows on the ball, especially if the golfer is right-handed or left-handed. So we must consider those things in our design. So here you can see now I have created my contour. It's also it's important that we know our contour line and to plot the uh, teen green on your Dialux file. So right now I'm using the Dialux regular and uh, on the next tutu tutorial I will teach you on how to create this contour ground. But for now let's focus on the teeing ground. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so before I close and remove all those floodlights in my teeing ground, I need to show you this, the objectives that we need to achieve here. So we need to achieve either 100 lux or 200 lux uh, depending on the class of the golf uh, project that you want to light. So for this one, you can see that it is somewhere in between 100 to 150 lux. So I think this is uh, about 100 lux. So okay, um, I will teach you now on how to put or to light a thin ground. So let's go and remove some floodlights first and uh, let's see how it will goes okay i adjust this one okay you can see now that i have bi-directional lighting here both sides of the thin ground for this one it's not possible to create a bi-directional light because uh there's no enough pole to place in that ground so but if i put a floodlight from here going there it will be very glary for the golfers so I just put two floodlights at the back okay so this is very critical because um, it's supposed to be uh, directional so it's if it's possible to create two poles here on both sides it's much a better sol solution because this one is very limited in the location of the pole that's why this is only one possible solution here okay so right now I have uh, this thing ground I have four so what you're going to do is to create first your contour and then if you go to the top view and if you want to see the thing ground calculation uh, points I will remove now my object first so let's remove this one and hide it and now you can see now my teen grounds. So this one is based on the green line, not on the teen circular. So that's what I created, how I created it. And so what I'm going to do is, for example, I will remove this one. So because I don't have the CAD file here, 
um, where is my CAD file? Yeah, because I s opened it in a different uh, location. That's where the CAD file is gone. But if you can see, if you had the CAD file here, you will just need to follow your um, CAD file. For example, I will delete it now. And you, what you're going to do is go to your um, object tabs at the bottom and then go to your calculation surface, no, calculation grid, and then place your calculation grid here, just like that. And then you can orient your calculation point either like this or just a regular 90 degrees, like that. And then you can label this one. You will say this is T1. And then you can... Uh, um, create your calculation grid in a distance or by manual for me what I did is um, I created it by distance the points distance is one by one meter but for the fairway I created this five by five and for the putting green I also created one by one because the more close the points the, the harder it is to get the uniformity and uh, the lax level so uh, it's much better to have a uh, one by one uh, grid for your team ground and then for example if you want to edit your calculation point for example your grid is up to here only then okay for example if you want to follow this one this layout then you all you need to do is right click and then convert for editing and then right click again and then edit the grid points and then you can now erase some points that are not necessary for your teeing ground. Yeah, so like that. And then, yeah, remove also on the other sides. Yeah, so like that. And then you will place now your luminaires. And if you want to see the uh, real-time calculation result, go to the display and make sure it's horizontal and zero and then go to the display and show the display values and go to your real-time calculation and say horizontal and then make this one a zero and now you can see here that the lux level is 102 lux so the requirements is uh, 100 so we achieve it and the uniformity requirements is 0.7 and we also achieve it using these two floodlights only so yeah that's it that's he easy it is on how to create your calculation grid points in uh, dialux evo regular uh, in the next tutorial i will teach you on how to light the fairway fairways both in vertical and horizontal and also for the putting green so let's go and unhide it and that's it. See you again next tutorial. Bye.